What is up, folks? We have a mail call here from our friends at Dynamic Discs. DynamicDiscs.com. Check them out. They're always really great. Hooked me up with a bunch of awesome plastic over the last uh, good few years now, it seems. And I really appreciate their support. They were actually one of the first companies to actually sponsor reviews here on my channel. And uh, to be continuing to work with them means a lot to me going forward and I appreciate their support I appreciate all you guys let's take a look at what we got uh oh this one scares me I'm gonna tell you why in a second let's take a look at it Fuji overstable mid-range from latitude here are your flight numbers for those flight number people beautiful disc I like the red and white I'm not usually not a big red fan but the red with the white rim just looks good it's a beautiful disc for sure. What's the weight on this guy? I haven't even looked yet. 177 grams. Here's a look at the profile. Definitely deeper than the Gobi, I'd say. For sure. That looks a little slower. Alright, so here's why I'm afraid of this disc. I really love my mid-range lineup. I just posted my in the bag like yesterday. And uh, Anchor, Compass, Gobi, couple of layers in there. It's covering me on everything. But I love the Gobi so much, I really would not be surprised to um, find that I really want this Fuji in the bag as well once I start testing it. I really almost can't remember the last time I tested a mid-range from DD or Westside or Latitude 64 that I just really didn't like. It might have been the Fuji, uh, the Fugitive. <laughs> not the, the Fugitive. <laughs> the Fugitive from DD that got um, went out of production relatively quickly. Never really caught on. I didn't care for that disc personally um, when I tested it many years ago. I mean, who knows? If I threw it now, I might feel differently. Um, but, man, the thing feels tremendous. And every time I get out and test one of these things, this latitude is just crushing the mid-range game. They just make such great discs. All right. Also, we have Trilogy Challenge. It's Trilogy Challenge tournament season right now. Um, go to TrilogyChallenge.com, I believe. And uh, either way, just Google Trilogy Challenge. I'm sure you'll find all the information you need to find your local events. Um, you get three discs and some other goodies in your player's pack. You play around with those discs. It's a great way to um, become a tournament director yourself if you want to run events for to fundraise for your club or your local course or just for some extra pocket money, whatever you got to do. And if you are a beginner, it's a really great event for you to check out and kind of get um, some experience playing tournaments in a super casual, super fun environment. Trilogy Challenge Discs this season. I have all three of them right here. Let's take a look at them now. I will be reviewing these once I get them all tested up. We have the Maiden Westside Putter. This one's a pretty low profile, shallow, flat top putter with a small bead there. And good feel. This one's in the uh, Origio. So Prime or Retro, same as Prime or Retro Plastic, feels great, really grippy, and has a pretty rigid feel to it. So if you don't like those kind of gummy putters, um, this is a good plastic for you to check out. Really pretty disc to the black and blue, really nice. So far, I like the feel of this thing quite a bit, and I hear they fly amazing. So I'm interested to test that one Put this side here. The mid-range is from DD. It is the Patrol. Here she is, beautiful blue. Um, got some like kind of swirly pattern in there. I like the opaque lucid plastic very much, as you guys might know. 177 grams. Let's take a look at the profile on the Patrol. Very smooth, very soft edges. Feels really nice in the hand as well. I hear these are quite understable. Could be a really great option for your left to right turning shots, tailwinds, um, and just low arm, low arm speed players to want to just throw them on a little hyzer and let them flip up and fly. Kind of like a longer deputy is what it seems to be from me, um, from what I've seen and what I've heard so far. So we'll get out and test that one and I'll let you know. Um, as I've been doing lately, you'll see somebody, probably James, throwing all these discs in the reviews coming up so you'll get a good idea of how, to, how they fly. Unless you just go find out for yourself and play a Trilogy Challenge, of course. And then we have, look at this thing. This is a musket from Latitude 64. Look how beautiful this disc is. Super rad burst, um, like purple, kind of yellow green, really trippy, interesting looking color. Um, beautiful disc. This one feels really nice as well. Opto plastic. Um, this one's 171. Here's a look at the profile on this guy. Very comfortable feel. 
I hear these are somewhere in between an escape and the getaway. So if you like the escape but you want a little bit more stability, um, the musket could be really great. And if you want more stability than that, maybe look for the getaway. I have not tested the getaway yet. I'm going to probably do that after I review all of these. So thanks to all you guys for watching. Big thank you to Dynamic Discs for continuing to support me and hook me up with this great plastic to test and review for you guys. I'll check you all very soon. Cheers.